Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Banraya Agro Map. But before that, this video is brought to you by Coulier Farms and Optimus. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Banraya Agro Map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the one point of release, this map is available for PC players. Now, the reason is because there is a PC player mod as a required mod. So that is why this is going to be a PC player only release. Let me read you some of the description. Welcome to Banranya Agro Map Farm. This map uses unique lighting with blue skies and darker nights. Animations with birds flying over the map. 37 fields with missions small to medium size. There are 19 cultivatable backyards in the village as well. Two size. Okay, viable forest, collection, okay, Hungarian license plates, original grass textures, tons of unique sounds, bale cell points, milk cell points, organic manure and slurry can be purchased. We have cows, sheep, chickens, and pigs pre-placed on the map, an egg cell point and wood wool cell points in the village, a seed buying station, two cell points where you can sell all your grains. You can also sell sugar beets and potatoes at the railway in the village. A working dryer with two large crop containers. Chicken farm with organic fertilized maker. Sawmill automatic bale storage. Organic and slurry storage for cows. Three large silos, traffic, and a working train. As far as required mods, this map needs the old fuel stations pack. Seed and fertilizer production. Biogas 150 kilowatt pack with small chicken coops. Production revamp, chicken coop, garages with sliding doors, cow shed 42 times 22, metal shed, and sawmill PE. Now, in addition to those required mods, we are going to be taking a look at this map with our normal mods. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. Now, if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, the farms will be built out exactly how you see them here in new farmer mode. The exception is you do not have any starting machinery in those alternate game modes. And of course, you do not own any land. With respect to low powered systems, I was able to get a nice solid 60 frames per second on this map using my test system, which uses integrated AMD graphics. Now, when we load in for the very first time, our farmhouse is actually over here in town. So we do start here at our farmhouse. Meanwhile, our starting farm is over here at farmland ID 46. And that can be bought for $60,320. Let's scroll out and take a look at the PDA. So there is a good chunk of this map that basically is not usable. It's outside the map boundary, if you will but it is part of the unbuyable land. So if you happen to have $700,000, then you could go ahead and buy it. This map does include all our standard crops, including our premium expansion crops of red beets, carrots, and parsnips, if we have that activated. Now, in addition to the starting farm, we also start up by owning farmland ID 5, 43, and 24. In addition to that, there is a cow farm at farmland ID 47. There is a pig, sorry, a sheep area at farmland ID 48. There is a pig area at farmland ID 53. Then there is a chicken coop at farmland ID 50, as well as 57. Other items of note is that there is a viable production right here at the grain cleaner and dryer as well as a few other productions here on this map. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any fields, what fields are included, then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? We can now cross-reference that with our field calculator screen, and this is going to show us the specific sizes of each particular field. And let's go ahead and see how that generic soil map 
is being applied to these fields. So the idea of fields are going to be more towards the center of the map where we have loam, sandy loam, and loamy sand. Meanwhile, the fields to the north and south are going to have a nice mix of silty clay as well. With respect to our crop counter, we do have the standard base game crop counter available to us here on this map. And looking down through our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops, as well as our animal outputs of eggs, wool, and milk, and our silage, hay, straw, and grass. As we continue down through our base game production items, we can indeed sell all of our base game production items as well. One thing that we're not going to be able to do is being able to buy bulk lime because buying a bulk lime is not allowed. You will have to get your lime from the vehicle shop. And if you are playing with stones enabled, you will need to put down your own stone sell point. Now, with respect to the farm production pack, we do not have the ability to sell any of our washed root crops, nor do we have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion productions either. Now, that story does change once we get down here to our premium expansion productions. Because as we have seen pretty much with every map since premium expansion has come out, we do have the ability to sell those as well as if you are playing with pumps and hoses, you can get rid of your separated manure. And if you are playing with straw harvest, we also have the ability of getting rid of your hay and straw pellets. Now let's scroll back up here because we do have a few added productions. We have dry wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybeans, and maize or corn. And then we also have grain waste as a byproduct of our grain drying. And we can sell those at multiple sell points. We start out with a modest list of starting machinery. It is all owned. None of it is leased and it has no operating hours. We have the chicken coop, pig barn, small wooden chicken coop, sheep barn, and a cow shed at the start. We do have contracts available on this map, and we do have some productions we own at the start. We have the manure production point, which is going to take straw and produce manure. We have our sawmill, which is going to take wood and make planks and wood chips. And then we have a seed and fertilizer factory, and that is going to take wheat and liquid fertilizer, or barley, canola, or sorry, oat, and make seed out of that. Or we have wheat and slurry, where we can make seed out of that. Barley and slurry, or oat and slurry. And then if we have manure and water, we're somehow going to end up with solid fertilizer. And then lastly, this map is listing as showing 100 Elm Creek collectibles. We have our working gate here. And again, we are in town. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting machinery. We start with the John Deere 6230R and the 7810 medium tractors. We have a John Deere T560 harvester. And with that harvester, we have the 625X grain header. We have our 1986 pickup truck, as well as the brand new TA23071 Power Push Plus trailer. We have the Horse Joker 4CT disc harrow. And the Nordskeen HK25 NS3030 Cedar and Power Hero combination. Then we wrap it all up with a 750 kilogram front weight. With respect to mods and DLCs, while this map does not have any custom vehicles or implements, the seed and fertilizer production, which is listed as a required mod, does have a pallet of liquid fertilizer available. Now I'm just going to quickly hit tab to jump over here to our starting farm location. And I will tell you that with respect to the farms being customizable, this farm here, only partially customizable. A lot of these buildings are not going to be sellable. In fact, I believe that this is one of those non-sellable sheds. We have our farm silo, so we have our dump point there. And, no, oh, sorry, this is our fill point. Here we have our dump point hiding over around the side. So 
Some more machinery storage. There we have our pickup truck. And I think you can probably tell. With respect to buildings using the new texturing technique. Hmm, pretty much. Nope. Not really going to see that. On this map, we've got a whole lot of rundown and flat buildings. These are some fairly old building textures. And that continues over here to all of the other farms. So that is going to be our arable farm. Let's come over here and go clockwise to our cow area. So inside the cow area, we have our food trough and our straw trigger. We can have 104 cows in this barn. I was hoping that would go ahead and open that door, but nope. We have our slurry point on this side. And typically we can sell our animal buildings, but that is going to be about it here on this area. So we've got another machine shed. Now, those cows, they are going to get annoying pretty quick, I think, because that is loud. I can still hear them from way over here. I do believe we can sell these two sheds as well, but everything else here on this is pretty much going to be unsellable. So here we have some slurry storage and a bale and pallet storage as well. 250 bales or pallets and our manure heap. I don't think anyone's going to fret me leaving that area. We have our sheep barn. So we have our delivery point for our sheep. Total of 250 sheep are going to be available here. We have our wool spawn point. And if we come around, we have our water trough and our food trough. And that is pretty much all we have going on here. There are some deco elements here at this sheep area. Those are permanently a part of the map. Again, all we can sell is the sheep building itself. Now we have our pig barn. And here at the pig barn, we believe we have a silage bunker located right there. And a second silage bunker located right there. And then we have our pigs. So we have our food trough. We have our manure heap. One hundred and eight pigs in total. We have our slurry point. And we have our yeah, we've already talked about our food right there. Now we have a large chicken coop down here by field twelve. 1,500 chickens available. We have our egg spawn point. We have our chickens are going to be inside of there. Then we have our dump point for our food. Now right next to that, we're going to have our manure production. So we have our dump point. 4 our manure. We have our output pipe for our manure, and then we have our interactive icon. We have our second small chicken coop located. We have 40 total chickens. We have our food, and we have our eggs. Now associated with this farmland, we also have a milk cell point located right here. All we can sell is going to be the chicken coop on this farmland. And all we can sell over here on this farmland is going to be the chicken coop as well. And that is 
pretty much the farm tour as we make our way around the map. So I'm going to jump back here to our starting farm just to give us a centralized starting point. And then we'll get to the skies and take a look at the other cell points and productions on the map. Let's go ahead and take to the skies a little bit and we can do a quick kind of look around. And from there, let's make our way kind of into this town area. So here we're going to be able to have the board shell point and the bale cell point. So I believe this is going to be for maybe lumber. This is going to be for bales. It's a little interesting. We have fuel trigger. And then here we're going to have our seed and fertilizer factory. So we have an interactive icon. We have our dump point right there. We have an output here for bulk seed. We have our cell points for our sugar beets and our potatoes. We have a wool cell point. Now this is going to be a production point. And we're going to be able to take wool and make it into fabric. So this is going to be our spinnery. We have our dump point there. Our pallet spawn point and our interactive icon. Then we have another cell point located right next to that. And that is going to be the aggro search. And look here. One of our little, little wooden Elm Creek collectibles. So here we have the cow barn that we've already taken a look at. Man, they're still mooing. Our sheep farm. And as we make our way south, we're going to come over here to our chicken coop and our milk cell point. So we have our chicken coop, our milk cell point. And a lot of these little garden areas, they are going to be usable as farms. All you need to do is buy the land. Now here we have three train cars. We're gonna be able to sell sugar beets, potatoes, and wood chips. Here we have our manure production and our chicken coop. And then this is going to be our grain dryer. We will need to purchase this production for $50,000. And once we do that, you see we're going to be able to take wheat, barley, oat, canola, sunflower, soybean, sorghum, and maize. And simply just dry them. We don't need any sort of fuel as inputs. And we're going to get dried product as an output, as well as a little bit of grain waste. We have a manure and slurry buy point located right here. And then we have our animal dealer. Making your way to the north. Over here on the right, we have our pig pen.
And again, the only thing really we can sell here is going to be the big building. This is going to be the biogas plant. So once we buy the land, we will have access to the BGA. We have our digester. We have our dump point for our slurry. We have our interactive icon. And this, this is what I was worried about. We've now effectively, we've, we've crashed to get the map. So yes, this this is now a repeating Lua error. This is this is this past Giants testing. Let me let me reboot and come back. So don't buy the biogas plant. It's gonna crash your game. And I don't really know what's up with that. I, it's got something to do with the farm production pack. Uh or or what was it? The um production revamp and this BGA production revamp in this map. Something is going on here. I don't really have a bunch of mods in here. These mods are very, very stable and are pretty much used on every map video. We're talking about over 430 map videos at this point. Something is up with this map. Don't buy the BGA or maybe just don't play the map until it gets an update. So over here in this community area, we have lots of backyards that we can also do some farming in. We have our grocery sell point, and then that is right next to our farm that we start out at, our farmhouse, which is right here. If we make our way over here to the north, here we have our sawmill. So we have our dump point for our wood. We have our output pipe for our wood chips. We have our wood cell trigger. We have our interactive icon and we have various spawn points for our wood outputs. Come over here and take a look at our productions. Right, we have wood planks and wood chips for here at our sawmill. And then the last area we're gonna take a look at is gonna be located right here. And that is gonna be our vehicle shop. So a pretty big yard to have our vehicle spawn. We have our dealer trigger over here as well. That is marked out. And then we are going to have a grain cell point located right here. And that is pretty much the gist of this map. Now let's talk about our score. First up, we're going to get the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such. There's a cautionary full point because we do have the map crashing with respect to the biogas plant, but we do have production built in, so we are going to give the map the point it needs. We're also going to give the map a full point with respect to the ability to sell all of our base game crops, production items, and animal outputs because we do have the ability to do all of that. So again, we get another full point. Now, with respect to the farms being customizable, well, that is where this map is going to lose a good number of points we're only going to give the map a half a point here because there's just so much at these farms that is not sellable which will make the overall customization of each of these areas a little bit problematic with respect to buildings where probably are using the new texturing technique well overall they're not these are old old flat building textures that have come forward from really who knows who knows which farm sim brings the parentage of these buildings but it's definitely not farm sim 22 or 19 or probably 17 for that fact so we're going to give the map one quarter of a point there and then lastly trigger and interactive areas being clearly marked we're going to give the map a full point 
So that's going to wrap this map up with a score of 3.75 out of 5. I honestly, unless you are seriously driven to play on this map, I would strongly advise waiting for an update because something is seriously wrong with either production revamp and this map or with the BGA and production revamp or possibly the BGA production revamp and this map. Some combination of those three are causing a repeating Lua error, a game crash, pretty much any time and every time that you go to buy the BGA. Not really sure how this clear testing, other than it seems pretty clear, Giants isn't play testing these maps. They might just be running it through a little script checker. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And until next time, happy farming.